This is a quick tutorial on how to simply and effectively remove power lines from your images. Without using complex tools like the spot healing brush or content aware fill, you will be able to go from this to this. This technique works particularly well when your images have complex backgrounds and allows you to obtain very clean results without a lot of effort. This technique requires that you take two images of the same scene. It is recommended that you put your camera on a tripod. And you have to shift the position of your camera vertically between the two shots. An easy way to obtain this is to use the central column of your tripod if it has one and just extend it for the second shot. Okay, we are now in Lightroom where we have loaded our two images made some initial processing, tones and color adjustment and what have you. As you can see, the two images are almost identical, except for the fact that they are shifted vertically uh, by a different height. And due to the different distance between the power lines and the background objects, the amount of shift that you get in the foreground and in the background are different. So what we do now, we select both images, make sure that both are selected in the film strip below, then go to the photo menu, click on edit in, and then open as layers in Photoshop. It will take a few seconds for Lightroom to export the images to, to Photoshop and for Photoshop to open them. So here we are in Photoshop with the two layers in a single file. What we need to do now is make sure again that both layers are selected. We can use the command or control key together with mouse click to do this. And once both layers are selected, we need to align them. So in order to do this, we go to the edit menu and select auto align layers. This will pop up this dialog. Here we must make sure that the projection mode is set to auto and that the vignette removal and geometrics distortion checkboxes are not selected. Then we click OK. And after a few seconds, Photoshop will align the two images. Uh, you can see that by clicking uh, the eye icon beside one of the two layers and see uh, what happens is that the backgrounds are aligned, but the power lines are shifting up and down. This is very important. So what we do now, we select only the top layer and we add a layer mask. Now we go to the uh, color selection box. We make sure that we select the black color by typing the X key. And then we select the brush. We need a brush that has a hundred percent hardness and is uh, about a little bigger than the thickness of your wires. So this will work. You can enlarge the view, zoom in, and then just start painting over your wires. And this will reveal the layer underneath that doesn't have any wires in that position. So you need to clean that. You can go very quick in the sky. And here, same. Now when you go over complex textured backgrounds, you just paint. And you see this works very well here. So we go on, we go over this tree, and that's it. Oh, there's a bit of repetition here. You can always switch back to, to white by clicking X and then fixing it a bit. Uh, that looks pretty good. So we now have to fix uh, the issues caused by the aligning. The two layers are not uh, do not cover the same area, so there are some transparent pixels left over. We just hit C to select the crop tool and we crop a bit the sides to make sure that no transparent pixels are included in the image. Very quickly here on the four sides. Click enter 
there you go now you we can just uh, merge all the layer we can use command or control shift e and then we save with command or control s let's go back to lightroom and here is our image which is completely clean of any power lines and all of these took no more than a couple of minutes.